open season. What's going on guys, it's D-Ben. I hope you have a blessed day today. And if you enjoy having open conversation to your favorite season, please make sure to subscribe. That being said, let's get right into it. By now, we all know that the Miami Heat defeated the Milwaukee Bucks 4-1 in a gentleman sweep. Obviously, the Milwaukee Bucks, who had the best record in the NBA, did not expect to get bounced out in the first round of the NBA playoffs, let alone by a team who had to compete in the play-in to earn a playoff spot. Yikes. That being said, when Giannis was asked in his post-game interview if he considered his season to be a failure, he wasn't having it. And I don't blame him on this one. Take a listen. Do you view this season as a failure? <sighs> oh my God. Uh, you asked me the same question last year, Eric. Okay. Uh, do, you get, do you get a promotion every year on your job? No, right? So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every, every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal, right? With, which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able, I don't know, um, provide the house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championship. The other nine years was a failure? That's what you're telling me? No, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. Man, Giannis dropped a lot of gems in his post-game interviews. For instance, instead of the reporter asking him why the season was a failure, why not instead ask him why does he think that this season was a disappointment? Why was it a letdown? What were the things that they could have done to beat the Miami Heat? He should have asked questions under those lines. Then Giannis said, there's no such thing as failure in sports. Hmm, think about it, he's not wrong in saying that. In sports, we're either winning or losing. In both instances, you can improve, but losing provides more of a wake-up call to improve. So that's why Giannis brought the example that when we're losing, it's not a failure, we're building the stepping stones towards success. That's why he brought the example of them winning a championship in 2021. They were building stepping stones towards success because their last championship was in 1971. So you're telling me in that 50 years, all those seasons were failure? Not exactly. They were building those stepping stones towards winning that championship. Another way I heard someone put it is, I didn't fail, I fell. Doesn't that make you feel good? That's so inspirational. But it's also true. You don't fail, especially in terms of sports, you fall. And what does that mean? It means that you took a misstep. That means when you take that missteps, in this case, not advancing in the next round, you gotta be able to look at what you did wrong and evaluate what you can do next time to ensure that you advance in the next round. Listen, if winning an NBA championship was the only metric to being successful, a lot of these NBA greats would all be failures. See Charles Barkley, Allen Iverson, Karl Malone, John Stockton, Grant Hill, Tracy McGrady, goes to show that not all NBA championships are equal. Now take a listen to what Kobe Bryant had to say, one of the greatest players and competitor the league has ever seen. But what does losing feel like to you? Uh, it's exciting. Why is it exciting? Um, because it means you have different um, ways to get better. There are certain things that you can figure out that you can take advantage of. Right, certain weaknesses that were exposed mm. um, that you need to shore up. Right, so it was exciting. I mean, it, it sucks to lose, right. but at the same time, there are answers there if you just look at them. I like what Kobe Bryant said here: losing exposes your weaknesses. In this case, Giannis had glaring weaknesses in that game. His shooting: he shot 10 for 23 from the free throw line missed more than half of his free throws. That's a liability. And I did not like the fact that when he was asked about his free throw shooting, Giannis just made it seem casual. Hey, sometimes I make my free throws, sometimes I don't. In this game, I just happen to have missed them. That is the wrong answer, Giannis. Going by what you were saying, 
building a stepping stone to success. So now this off season, you should be building stepping stones to success, ensuring that you come back next year stronger. Go ahead and find yourself a shooting coach or if you already have one, work on your free throws. Be in the lab, work on a reliable jump shot. Because once you're the same person that when you got the ball, you nearly threw it out of bounds for fear of shooting free throws. Come on, Giannis, stay true to your words. You better come back next year shooting above 70% from the free throw and at least have a reliable jump shot. Not saying you have to shoot 40% from three, but Giannis, make sure you have those stepping stones to success.